There are some things that you should not be doing at the field application scientist interview presentation. Are you doing these things? Well, 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 you have made it to the presentation portion of the interview process. Good job. Now, at this point, you're super excited, but you also should be super cautious in the way you prepare and make choices for this presentation. I remember my days when I was actually preparing for the presentations for my field application scientist interviews and I assumed a lot of things and I did a lot of things because I had no one to tell me what I should and should not do. That's why I'm bringing you this video because I want to tell you some things that you should not do and i will tell you things that you should do during this presentation listen take this advice wisely what works for you may not work for someone else i just advise that you should kind of at least consider not doing these things at your presentation so let's jump right in all right so the first thing that you should not do during the presentation at your field application scientist interview is that you should not present only on your graduate research. Keyword only. I did not say not to present or talk about your graduate research. That's a whole nother video in itself on how to do that in a very mm, professional commercial way. I am speaking about those who want to present their dissertation. Please do not do that. They're looking for a educated, business savvy, great trainer, communicator, thinker. I mean, there's, there's so many words that are involved in that. They're looking for this well-rounded person. They're not just looking for a scientist. Sorry. That's not the case. You're a scientist, embrace it, love it. I love it, but at the end of the day, that's not the only thing they're looking for. And so you need to present, this is the moment that you've been waiting for to literally show and show them what you bring to the table, not through just a Q and A sitting down in a robotic interview format, but now you have the floor. You may have 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. If you have an hour, please definitely do not present on just your graduate research. You are blowing that time. This warrants another video, and so I'm not gonna go into it too much, but I am very passionate about this because I did it, I did it more than once, and it is not something that was helpful for me. Obviously, because I didn't get those jobs. That could have been other things too. All right, so the second thing that you should not do at the Field Application Scientist presentation during an interview is do not assume that everyone who attends this presentation are going to be science people, people with science backgrounds, people with medical backgrounds. This is important. You need to be able to communicate and present this not to people who would attend, once again, a dissertation, but people who would attend a presentation for a commercial reason that involves science and medicine. Commercial reason that involves science and medicine. Listen, some of these guys are business people. Some of these guys are just really technical people. Like IT, someone from IT may be there. Someone from marketing may be there. And though they may know how to market a science or medical product, they're not there to learn about, you know, the 10th piece of data that you want to go deep into. Like, just know that you need to prepare in a way where you are speaking, presenting to people from all types of backgrounds. The third thing that you should not do at the field application scientist presentation is Bring and use note cards. I'm gonna say it again. Do not bring 
and or use note cards to get you through this presentation. I would hope you haven't even done this in the last five, six, seven, eight years, but I'm just gonna say it without elaborating any further. Don't do it. All right, so the fourth and last thing that you should not do at the field application scientist interview presentation is you should not visually like ignore other people in the in the audience that are not managers sometimes we tend to visually connect and really try to engage with those who are managers or who are in the same role that we're trying to get and we start visually disconnecting from the other people. This is not always easy to remember when you're in the mode of presenting, but this is something you want to practice while you are practicing for your presentation. Set up little stuff, animals, we may not have those anymore, but set up pillows and make eye contact with all of those pillows throughout your presentation while you practice. This will help you. All right, guys, so I hope this video is helpful to you as you prepare for delivering a great presentation during your field application scientist interview. If it is, please let me know. And let me know what questions you may have in regards to the presentation portion. I'll do my best to answer it. But I have a question for you. What is the thing that most frightens you about presenting during the field application scientist presentation while you're interviewing? Let me know those things. I think some of you may realize, even in the comments, that you have similar concerns or fears in regards to this presentation portion of the interview. So please make sure that if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and more importantly, subscribe to my channel. I thank you for tuning into this video and I look forward to connecting with you again soon.